In this demonstration, we will learn how to record and run a JMeter test by using BlazeMeter's Chrome browser extension. Let me first quickly log in into the BlazeMeter application. Now, let's first add the BlazeMeter's Chrome extension uh, to run the JMeter test. Uh, this extension records all HTTP, HTTPS requests that your browser makes. Um, it creates a JMeter script and automatically uploads it to the BlazeMeter when you execute it with a single click. Right, now to get started, I'm going to go ahead uh, into Chrome Options, Settings, and go ahead and get more extensions and search for blaze meter extension here and that's your blaze meter extension i'm going to go ahead and add it to chrome the blaze meter extension is now added as you can see, I now have the BlazeMeter icon sitting right here on top of my browser. I'm going to go ahead and launch this. And I'm going to enter the name of the test as CAJMX Test Demo. And get into the advanced options. And I'm going to look at the additional settings here. And for that, I'm going to check uh, the edit settings before running. Now, once this is done, let's go ahead and start recording the traffic. And I'm going to go ahead and launch the Blaze uh, demo website in another tab. Right, let's uh, go ahead and click on Find Flights and choose a particular flight and just go ahead and purchase flight. As you can see now, the test uh, has been created for you. Let's go to test configuration and modify some of the configuration details. For example, I'm going to set the JMeter version. I just set the JMeter version to 3.1. And let's set the originate load from to Asia Pacific. Set the number of users to 50, which is already there, and just go ahead and save it off. And once this is done, we can go ahead and start this test. It's going to take a couple of minutes for the servers to be prepped up before we can start the test. And once the tests start, you can observe different types of reports, different metrics like average throughput, response time, bandwidth, maximum virtual users. And once the test finishes execution, you will be able to view the executive summary report, which will give you the aggregated data for the test run. This completes the demonstration. Thank you so much for watching.